So this is what we'll be making today. Our main focus will be on the carousel. So this is Android, this larger screen, iOS, and this is a smaller screen, iOS. Okay, so I make contents like this and I always provide the link to the code in the description. So if you are interested in contents like this, kindly like and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, so this is what we'll be starting with. So we have um, our images which we'll be using for the carousel and then we have the, um, the component, the carousel view. And this is what we have. Hello carousel, hello carousel over here. So we'll be using this library pinar.js um if i could find it okay so this library just do yarn art pinar and then we start so let's install the library Okay, now the library has been installed. Let's write some code. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So by default, the carousel uses flex, um, the flex of one, and this is what we get. It comes with a control. It comes with the dots over here. Okay, so now we need to customize this. So to take away the dots, first of all, we it has a property show controls. So we set that to force to hide the dot, um, the controls. Great, you see now we don't have the controls anymore. Now let's give the carousel container some height. So what we we'll do is we we'll use the devices height in the dimensions. But get um, let's use window. Okay. Okay, so now you give the carousel container the height. So by default, the carousel, this carousel will take the height of its parent container. So the height will be, um, let's say, okay, first of all, we would have to take account of this. We don't want it to be over here like we saw in the video. So we come here, you know, import constants from SQL constants. So I've already installed this constant so if you want to use it to you would have to install constant from SQL constant not this this so we come here okay so what we'll be doing is we would give the height as this minus the margin top divided by 1.9 okay so i would have to refresh okay so this is what we have now it's looking pretty good for now so we have the dots so you can see these three dots over here. When we scroll, it 
get this so now let's style the dots now we want the dot to be lined you can style it whatever way you want but this what i showed in the video so you style it as such so here it starts dots dots the dots you give it a width of 30 the height of 3 and then let's give it a background of red to see it so let's say red okay so now we can see our dots okay now let's give it some margin horizontal let's see 3 okay great now let's give it some border radius is it there for it too okay now so you see now for the active active dots it's still the default one so let's change that so and it has an active dot style so we set that as styles dot active active dot style so we come here Okay, we wouldn't just give it an active dot style. We would it it will have to take the default style. So styles dot dot style, and then we give it the active dot style. You know what? Even with the active, we'll just be changing the background. So let's change the background. Just the background as white, just like we saw in the movie. So you see, it's the same, just that the background changes. Okay, so now let's change this dot style, the background to something like silver. Okay, great. So we have this. So um, in in the the preview I showed earlier, it had some margins over here. So we need to provide those margins also. So the margin will be in the console. And we'll give it a margin, margin horizontal of. The container, yeah, and then the top will be margin top, yeah. So this is using the margin top, this margin top that we defined over here. So we are using the status bar height as the margin top. So this is what we have so far. So it's because I'm mirroring, that's why you are seeing this fading. Oops, this fade. Um, I let me use the the phone itself. So okay. So we have this, and then we have this. So you can customize it to whatever that suits you if you want to use the circles you just use the circles as the dots you use the actual dot for me i said it's a dot yet i've defined a line yeah so this is what you have so um you go here and then to show the other content i've already built them already so i'll just uncomment them out and then this is what you will have it's what you have so if you want access to the code this is the content um Go here this is the content of it you can go there and then use whatever you want so guys thank you for watching and kindly like and subscribe see you in the next one